right okay so what I've got here today to show you is a, uh, <coughs> a BSA improved model D um, an early one um, a very early one um, but it's a slightly special one because this is a presentation BSA rifle <coughs> now BSA um, obviously um, heavily involved in trying to get the sports uh, of air gun shooting, target shooting, off the ground to aid with their sales of their uh, their underlever rifles, um, which were making a name for themselves as excellent target guns. So what they did, um, they sponsored um, the more prestigious shoots, um, sometimes by offering a cash prize, uh, and sometimes by offering a, uh, a special rifle as, as a prize. Um, and what they did is they didn't just offer any rifle, they actually made um, presentation rifles um, that had a inlaid um, plaque um, that had the name of the competition and uh, the room for the name of the competition and room for the winners there and the fact that it was presented by BSA and the date on it. And these were inlaid at the factory. Um, these rifles also, uh, because they were obviously going to be a bit of a showpiece um, as, a, as a, a prize, if you like, in the competition, they also tended to make sure that the rifling was a, a particularly fine example of their wares because obviously they didn't want to give away something that was a little bit bland or maybe had a fault. So they tended to be of a slightly higher um, engineering excellence and with a slightly more um, better figured stock than perhaps would be um, standard. Though having said that, there are some marvellous stocks on standard air rifles, but they tended to make sure on the presentation ones that they did have a stock that looked the business and also that everything is really tight fitted on the rifles. Um, they also got a lot of um, inspection stamps on these things. This has got inspection stamps and serial number stamped all over the place on it. Um, and generally, it is so tight. The action on this is, even now, the underlever flips, fits really, really flush with the barrel. You can see that there's scarcely any gap at all. There's zero play in it. No rattle anywhere underlever or anything the whole thing is incredibly um tight really really nice and that stock is really smart that's a very very nice walnut stock it's been fitted with as befits a uh, a prize rifle now this particular one was presented by uh, Birmingham Small Arms Company Limited to the Borough of Portsmouth Air Rifle League for the 1907-1908 season and it was won by the Shakespeare Air Rifle Club. So the club itself would have won this rifle and then this would have gone on to be um, one of the club rifles. So this one wasn't won by an individual, this one was actually won by an air rifle club. So as I said, it's an early improved Model D and it has the uh, standard features that you would find on any early D. So it's still got the metal butt plate rather than the later Ds that had the little uh, wooden cut out to get through and just wooden grooves cut across. So it's still got the metal butt plate. Um, it's also still got, if you look here, it's got the P was it PPAT 8246-86 or 96 or whatever it says, I can't read it on there, which denotes it as being an early one, because later on they just changed it to PAT and the number underneath, uh, number ran alongside of it. <coughs> as you can see, screw heads on this are exceptionally clean. This has been very, very well looked after. Um, hasn't got the um, reinforced underlever plate. It's just still got the old-fashioned unreinforced ones. 
<coughs> pardon me, whereas later D's types, improved model D's would have had the uh, <coughs> the reinforcing struts. So that's pardon me for coughing. I'm just getting over a chest infection. I've been really quite ill the past uh, week or so. Um, so I'm just getting back on my feet, if you like. Uh, serial number stamped in there as well. You may not be able to see it, but it's got some um, inspection stamps on there and there. There's inspection stamps. You can't really see that cocking. There's inspection stamps at the base of the barrel as well. Standard trigger. Screw on the front. And obviously the uh, inscription on the... Uh, on the barrel, on the cylinder. So, there it is. This is in extremely good condition. Um, as you can well imagine, um, I suppose winning such a prestigious prize, um, it's probably seen a slightly more um, pampered life than most improved Model Ds. Um, the stock was, mind you, was absolutely filthy when I got it. Um, so I've cleaned all the cack off the stock. And uh, as you can see, it's come off lovely. It really is quite a spectacularly lovely looking rifle. And not only that, <clears throat> it's been well looked after internally as well. Because it shoots extremely well. It's very, very tight shooting. Uh, it's accurate. Um, or it would be if my shooting was any good um, and it's just a lovely lovely rifle really really nice it's the sort of thing that's nice to have in your collection quite rare as you can imagine you know you're not going to see many of these around <coughs> for some strange reason the rear sights actually on back to front I don't know why um, seems a bit peculiar so I think someone's either changed it around to give an extra little bit of eye relief on it at some time or other or they've been cleaning everything and then when they've reassembled it, they've put it on the wrong way around. It seems a bit peculiar. But it is a lovely, lovely rifle. This is only the actual, this is actually only the second rifle, uh, presentation rifle I've ever seen. Uh, the other one being the B-Type, that's in uh, John Maluski's book. Um, and funnily enough, this rifle itself is actually in that book. Or a picture of the, uh, there's just a photograph of the plaque. Um, in the book, not a photograph of a uh, rifle in its entirety. But those are the only ones of these presentation rifles that I have ever seen. Um, you read about them um, being offered as prizes, but those are the only two that I've ever actually seen photographs of. Um, <clears throat> and now I am the proud owner of this beautiful rifle. An absolute storm of a thing. Such a nice gun. It shoots so well. Um, you know they must have been over the moon when they won that as a prize because it is an absolute storm of a thing Oh, I forgot to say, on the later uh, improved Model Ds, um, they actually stopped stamping the um, piled on trade logo on the rifles as well. There she is.
stunning. Stunning rifle.